Hello, David Brennan with Case IH. Let's take a look at the population graph, seed graph monitoring out of the Pro 1200 display when running an ISOBUS solution on a 2000 series early riser planner. Let's look at the first way. So we've got our population graph showing across the bottom on our universal terminal screen in the ISOBUS run screen three. You'll see that population graph showing all 16 rows as an average across the width of that planner, whatever that, or however that planner is configured. Now I can look at a population average, and if I hit the scroll window in the upper right-hand corner of that graph, I can transition to singulation average. Can transition, transition over then to skips, how that meter is performing in terms of skips. We can look at multiples, see if there's maybe a setting we need to adjust because of too many or a higher multiple than we'd like to see out of that meter. A seed release index, and then a good spacing average across the width of that planter as well. And then we come back to population. Now that's showing all 16 rows at one time. I can drill down to a specific row if I see that I have a problem with that row. So for example, let's drill down to row three and take a look at that particular row. So I've now drilled down and I'm seeing all four, really all five of those metrics, including population, um, laid out in the lower end of that ISO screen, uh, that universal terminal screen. So we see singulation skips, multiples, seed release index, and then good spacing at the very end. So then we can hone in on some of those issues we may have, whether it's downforce, whether it's a vacuum issue, we can start to create uh, or provide some guidance through these metrics to fix whatever issue we may have. So that's one way we can look at population. Let's look at a second way we can look at it, now also within the universal terminal screens. And these are gonna be more in a uh, Windows format where it's gonna scroll through, uh, an average across the planner, a high row, a low row, and then scroll through each individual row, uh, providing each one of those metrics, those meter metrics, uh, in more of a one-by-one -one window format, if you will. So let's look at the third way we can look at seed population. If I come over to my user-defined windows within my Pro 1200 display, I've got population graphs spread out in a two by th three window format. I can do the same as I did on the universal terminal screen and select, for example, row three and drill down and find those individual meter metrics in a format that's easy for the operator to consume and then easy for the operator to make adjustments to fix whatever metric is out of alignment and maybe it's in that yellow or even red zone. All right, so those are the ways we can look at seed graphs on the Pro 1200 display when running the ISOBUS solution on 2000 series planner. For more information on seed graphs, refer to your operator's manual or visit your local Case IH dealer.